welcome back today we are diving into fundamental component of java development here we will learn how java work and we will also see java architecture component like jvm jdk and jre so what is java architecture there are two processes involved in java first process we can say compilation so whenever you will try to do java c and class name command it will try to to take your source code and change into the byte code so whole process will be the compilation and in the execution where the interpretation will be happen that means your byte code will be converted for the system or machine i can say so let's discuss in detail you will write your code so here the class file will be hello world dot java so this is source code and this source code you can write into any text editor or any ide that means integrated development environment so once your source code is ready so after that we have to do the compilation when you compile your java code using the java c tool it will convert from human readable source file into byte code that means dot class file so that will be like kind of binary 0101 like that so that binary is going to help the jvm so what will be happen the next step so once the dot class file is ready it will try to pass to the jvm so here the jvm is responsible for interpreting or i can say the compiling the byte code into machine code that can be executed by underlying hardware and operating system and in that what will be have the jr is going to play an important role so here the jr is an environment that provide library runtime component and the jvm necessary for executing java application so finally the jvm will interact with the operating system to execute the java program utilizing resource such as memory cpu and input output operation so in the summary the jdk include the java c compiler and other development tool while the jre include the jvm and runtime libraries when you compile the java code the java c generate the byte code file which are then executed by the jvm within the context of the jre on the target operating system so now you will have some doubt like okay what is here jvm jre jdk so these are the component of the java architecture so let's start with jvm that means java virtual machine so jvm is the backbone of java development think of the jvm as virtual computer that execute java byte code because the jvm is not physically exist so whenever you will try to compile your code using the java c it will try to convert your code into byte code and the java byte code is the instruction set for the java virtual machine so generally when you enter the java c command followed by the name of the java source code file typically i can say like the ending with dot java the java compiler that means java c that will compile that source code into the byte code and this byte code is stored in a file with the same name as the source file but here the extension will be changed with dot class extension this dot class file contains the compiled byte code representation of your java code so the compiled byte code file contain the instruction that are understandable by the jvm so what will be happen once your compile file is ready that means dot class after that jvm is going to play the important role so if we see the architecture what will be happen here so this is the architecture of jvm and jvm abstract with the hardware and operating system difference and provide a consistent runtime environment for java application to run on any platform so that means once you have a dot class file you can run on any platform so here they have class loader and it will try to interact with jvm memory and here so many process will be happen currently we are not going to discuss in detail we will cover in separate video in future 
सो जेवीएम परफॉर्म सेवरल इसेंशियल टास्क इंक्लूडिंग द बाइट कोड लोडिंग वेरिफिकेशन इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड डायनेमिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन थ्रू द गार्बेज एलोकेशन एंड इट ऑलवेज इंश्योर डेट जावा प्रोग्राम रन स्मूथली एंड इफिशियंसली अक्रॉस वेरियस इन्वायरमेंट सो दिस इज स्मॉल ओवर व्यू ऑफ जे वी एम सो द नेक्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इज जे आर ई डेट मीन्स जावा रन टाइम इन्वायरमेंट सो द जे आर ई इज फॉर द इंड यूजर हु वॉन्ट्स टू रन द जावा एप्लीकेशन ऑन देअर मशीन एंड द जे आर ई कंसिस्ट ऑफ दी जे वी एम लाइब्रेरीज एंड अदर रन टाइम कॉम्पोनेंट नेसेसरी फॉर एक्सिक्यूटिंग दी जावा बाइट कोड so the java runtime environment provide an platform where all application like jvm and other runtime library link together to run your java program it build a runtime environment where it can execute the java program so the jre also initiate the jvm for it execution and jre has the required software and library to run your program so you can see here the name right runtime environment that means it is going to provide an environment that will be responsible to run your java code lastly we have the jdk that means java development kit so if you are a java developer then the jdk is your best friend it is comprehensive software development kit that equips you with all tool you need to write compile debug and run java application you cannot compile your java program without jdk install on your machine so once you compile the code with jdk tools you can get byte code file so the majorly i can say jdk is geared toward developer and the jre is for end user who wants to run the java application on their machine the jdk includes a compiler debugger library and other essential tool for java development it also bundle a private java runtime environment allowing you to run java application during development and testing without needing a separate installation so let's recap the component once again so the jvm is the runtime environment that execute java byte code and the jdk is the development kit containing the tool library for java development and the jre is the runtime environment required for running the java application on in the user machine so you can see this diagram here we easily understand first of all we we'll learn about the jvm and once you combine jvm and library set it will be the jre and once you combine jre plus development tool then it will be treated as jdk and there you have it you understand the architecture of java and the mystery of jvm jdk and jre has been unrevealed if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more java related content